the font will get printed x5 and y17 here without disrupting all this data without adding an un unwanted spaces so if we will add spaces to hey hello youtube i am Karan from bharat and in this video i'm going to talk about an entry submitted by developing pc named as big font patch function so after their last submission named as number font they have created this big font plugin or function so let's see how what is the size of the function the compressed form is of only 3 kbs so let's let's extract it and let's see what is the size of the extracted version you will see oh it's quite large size 10 kbs so if it's a text code yep it is a text code so the big font function is of only of 7 kbs and quite quite a big project and it is, seems to be pure batch because it's not using any additional dependencies and here are two files for our help so here's the readme file and a default file so first let's read the readme file there is an upgrade version of number font yeah we talked about the last in last submission that was number font so if you have not checked this, that video please check that video out first and and they are also stating it's 100% pure the pure here states for the batch because they are not using any other dependencies you can copy and paste this single batch file into your text and it will work fine you don't need to copy all other files so it does not depend on any other file or plugin so instead of only numbers this one is support support normal text as well okay the last version number font only supported numbers so this one seems to support other things also so here they have there is a change log they are comparing it with number font so it should be it should be calling we can call this as uh, upgrade of the number font function so this it the version supports text simple text uses a font file to display you can create your own font font file okay don't have to put a space between two characters okay tested in windows 7 not sure it works in windows 10 so we are currently running windows 10 let's see how it will display output so let me first see its syntax so you can use it call big font the name and minus get font okay you can get the font it will say generating font file font file has been generated okay first we need to generate the font file and then we need to call the function with default.txt okay with the font file that we have generated and then the text okay then we will get this kind of output on the console according to my experience i think this is what i can get from this text the working time on this function is about two hours okay the two two hours should be a neat two hours not including lunch or dinner or a sip of water so they, it is the default .txt file okay you don't have to worry about this here it is written so i cannot launch it directly as it is a function so okay what is doing powershell here i just upgraded my windows and it is showing powershell open powershell window here okay and it seems to be very slow let me turn the text off okay it is not getting my instructions so let me call the cmd and make it as my servant so powershell is cmd now we will launch cmd inside powershell so it should act as cmd let me call the big font function and minus get font i think this was the text 
okay generate a font file usage is big font yeah name then minus get font to get we have written save in default.txt so here is a link to their youtube channel you can visit i'll try to put a link in the description too so let first let us try to okay this is the font file that i was talking about so let's print the text the bad team the bracket was unexpected so let me first rename the given file to our default.txt format and then let me call this file as default.txt and then press enter whoa it is printing the bad team but what about if I want to print the bad team over here like in the typography function in the typography function I can provide the coordinates from inside the command like 5 comma 70 so move this text the font will get printed x5 and y70 here without disrupting all this data without adding an un unwanted spaces so if we will add spaces to from here to here it will remove all this data but in the typography function as we will use bad box it will directly jump the output to this location that we want and it won't hurt the data inside that comes between the two coordinates but this seems to be a good start and as we have the default file and the readme file you can use this big project in your projects and here the font file is that generate font okay they are generating font here and i quite like the way efficient way of creating fonts inside the file because in my typography function i have used a separate file that was quite bulky but it was readable by bad box so i can't say that was better or it is better but i quite like this format and this is small and clean and neat as compared to my my style so that we have that i have used in the typography function so this was this is a better upgrade and i personally like if the developing pc will add the coordinate functionality to put the code the output text on the desired location on the cmd console it will beat the big font for plugin or the function will easily beat the typography function so here there's a code and in the code there are some lines for text to number and output text okay the text getting converted into number and then it is getting converted into it is getting printed on the cmd console so they have used a little encryption here i think for converting a to 10 b to 11 and then 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 this is the encryption numbers okay you can visit their youtube channel i'll try to put the link in the description or you can search developing pc uh, this one in the let me enlarge it you can search developing pc in the youtube and you will find the channel easily I think this is a great invention and if you like their work and the work of the bad team please feel free to subscribe and thumbs up this video please share the content with your friends on the social network platform because it will really help us in growing more so thanks for watching see you in the next video bye bye